raven's flock, the flock rundown is the place to be. My man Ryan has been a lifelong Ravens fan since he was born. So I'm telling you now, it's about to go down. The podcast, the flock rundown. Ravens, baby. Nothing gets better than waking up and wondering how high we can fly. Tune in. Motionless brainwaves attempt to swim their way to sense can't tame the untamed. Appreciate you, Ray. What's up, Ravens fans? My name is Ryan, and welcome back to another episode of the Flock Rundown Game Preview episode, favorite episode of the week, Ravens 49ers, Monday night on Christmas night. I'll dive into some key matchups on both sides of the ball for both teams, give some predictions, a score prediction, and also doing another $50 giveaway. Just watch the entire video. I ask a question somewhere in that video. Just like the video, please subscribe to the channel and then comment your answer. Closest answer wins $50 right after the game. But yeah, let's dive into it. So we got a little MVP showdown, you know, Brock Purdy's leading the way right now. Christian McCaffrey's still involved. Lamar Jackson's still involved. So it's pretty exciting. I feel like this game could decide the outcome. It could sway voters, you know, it's such a big head-to-head -head matchup at the end of the season. I really don't care that much about Lamar winning MVP. He's already done that, you know, unanimously as well. So it's not a huge deal, but it's just a little cherry on top to have kind of some MVP stakes on top of two top teams going against each other. Yardage-wise, the quarterbacks are actually very similar statistically. I, people, for some reason, like to discount Lamar's rushing yards because you usually don't add the rushing yards into quarterbacks but Lamar's a different breed you got to count the rushing yards with the passing yards he's got 3,100 passing yards 740 rushing yards that leads to exactly what Brock Purdy has this year in passing and rushing combined too so but Brock Purdy's got way more touchdowns so I understand statistically the MVP odds are in Purdy's favor but Lamar is an MVP. I mean, obviously, he impacts the game and his team probably at a greater level than Purdy does. Purdy's executing the 49ers offense at a really high level, so all respect to Purdy. But I'm just saying, when the game breaks down, you got to put the team on your back, you know, weapons or not. Lamar's done that, does that can do that so he is also deservingly in that conversation and Lamar goes out against the Niners and throws for four touchdowns and the Ravens beat the Niners I bet you Lamar Jackson jumps to the top of that list but this game is way more than MVP race we get to see two top teams going at each other and like I said that Niners offense is no joke I mean you got Christian McCaffrey Brock Purdy obviously leading the way Debo Samuel Ayuk George Kittle and a great line with Trent Williams. I mean, the the offense is stacked. They're scoring a ridiculous amount of points every week. They're blowing teams out every week. The Ravens have their handful, but I also don't think that the 49ers have played a defense like Baltimore's. 49ers usually impose their will on other teams and you know, can be the bully a little bit. And uh, I think Baltimore views themselves as the exact same thing. We go into every single week with an edge. I'm expecting the 49ers offense to move the ball. I mean, they just have way too many playmakers. This is not a matchup where I think the Ravens defense can come in and just shut the entire 49ers offense down. They're way too good for that. But I do think this is their toughest task. I think looking at the 49ers schedule, they just haven't played a defense like this. And there might not be another defense like this besides their own potentially. The Ravens are well-rounded at every level of the field. I think the Ravens are going to have to do the best they can to shut down their run game. Obviously, it's Christian McCaffrey, the best running back in the NFL. And the Ravens' run defense has been a little leaky, has been inconsistent. So that is one of my bigger concerns. And then also, we're going to have to pressure Purdy. Our pass rush hasn't been getting home quite as much as they were a few weeks ago even or earlier in the season so I think we need a resurgence of that pass rush in this game we're gonna have to disrupt their offense in some way we definitely can't give them time and also allow them to run the ball so I think we can potentially make their offense struggle a bit more than they're used to I'd be shocked if they just go out there and drop 40 plus on that Baltimore Ravens defense flip to the other side of the ball for the Niners their defense is also stout especially that defensive front they added they added Chase Young at the trade deadline you you already have obviously Nick Bosa who's unreal and then they may be getting Armstead 
and Hargrave back. I'm not sure. I saw that they were did not practice, but it's still early in the week for these teams since they play Monday. So today's injury report will determine their status, but I'm hearing they have a good chance to go. And obviously that adds a lot of meat to the interior of that line for them. And they got kind of exposed last week in the run game. I think the Cardinals had 200 plus rushing yards on them, but that was without Hargrave and Armstead. So if they do come back, I would expect that D line to get more shirt up. If not, then I think there's a chance the Ravens can exploit some of that because if the Cardinals are rushing for 200 plus, the Ravens are a better running team. I'm not saying that that means they run for more, but it is a sign that we can have some success. And I think that we'll be able to move the ball. The the biggest concern, obviously, is their pass rush against our offensive line. Our offensive line has some holes right now, and it's mainly at the tackles, which is scary because Ronnie Stanley has a big name, and people around the league think that he's Ronnie Stanley. But if you're a Ravens fan, you know that that is not the case right now. I hate saying that, but he has not been the same. He's not been able to come back and consistently perform at an even remotely close level to what he used to. So it's a, our line's a big concern against a front like this, against a rush like this. So I think that that is by far my biggest concern with the 49ers defense. I think we'll be able to have some success running the ball. I know we just lost Keaton Mitchell. That sucks, but we'll have a committee with Gus Edwards. Justice Hill will be that change of pace back. And then we'll See what Melvin Gordon has. I know he's got fresh legs right now. He's been on the practice squad all year. I do think we'll be able to run the ball. And then obviously we got Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson leads our team in rushing. So he's a huge factor to consider as well. And if we can give Lamar some time in this game, I think there's also some opportunities downfield that can be made. I'm not sure if Odell's going to play. I think he's just out for an illness. So I'm expecting him to play. But you know, Zay Flowers, Bateman, Isaiah likely been stepping up. We just need to give Lamar time and he'll buy himself some time as well. It'll be interesting to see how often a guy like Bosa or Young, how often they can get home against a freak athlete like Lamar. I know that they're also freak athletes. So that's why I think this matchup is so enticing. You have incredible pass rushers, you know, especially Nick Bosa, but he's going against the most elusive quarterback. Lamar gets out of a lot of crazy stuff. So that battle is the one to watch. The 49ers pass rush versus the Ravens offensive line and Lamar Jackson. And that leads us to the giveaway question today. How many total team rushing yards are the Ravens going to have? That's Lamar Jackson running, Gus Edwards, Melvin Gordon, Justice Hill, whoever gets a carry. How many total rushing yards for the Ravens against the 49ers? Drop your answer below. Like the video. Closest answer wins $50 right after the game. Merry Christmas. So let's dive into my score prediction. This was the toughest one of the year for me. I feel like Baltimore in this game, this is their toughest test. This is the hardest game that they're going to have, at least matchup-wise. And it's hard for me to pick them. You know what I mean? It's it's hard for me to pick against them as well. So I've been really struggling with this score. But I'm going Ravens 27, Niners 24. It's such a unique matchup because both teams are doing so well and are dominating a lot of other teams. So it's just a really unique matchup to see those two dominant teams go together. You just don't know what to expect. Are the Niners going to continue to roll and just kind of do what they do and keep blowing teams out? But the Ravens are doing the same thing most weeks. So I'm just going to guess and say it's a closer game, but I really don't know. And this is an incredible game that I cannot wait for Christmas night. Let me know your score predictions. Let me know your predictions about the game. Hopefully you heard the giveaway question. Make sure you drop your comments below. And yeah, can't wait for Monday night. Go Ravens. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Flock Rundown. As always, I appreciate you. Have a beautiful rest of your day. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Motionless brainwaves attempt to swim. They where the sense can tame the untamed.